is a thrill to have him back on the show. Please welcome Ringo Starr, ladies and gentlemen. There's a star man waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'll blow our mind. There's a star Cool and dapper, why you look good? Yeah. You know, I was listening to the girls and looking at that, and that was our big mistake being in the Beatles. What was that? Well, we didn't have the mechanic or the cowgirl. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it could have lasted at least another two years. It all ended so you? soon. <laughs> Although, looking at you on the roof there, you were wearing like a sou'wester or something. So there I was, was a wearing of... a Mac because yeah. it was raining. <laughs> I love the fact you were the only one who dressed sensibly for the roof. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you look great. It's lovely to have you back. You've just been uh, back in Liverpool, of course. I was at Liverpool for the weekend for the uh, City of Culture. Yeah, yeah. It was well, great. Uh, and that's an exciting thing to be happening for Liverpool, I would have thought. Well, I think any city would be, you know, an exciting event uh, as it was for Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you, what do you miss about Liverpool when you're not there? You've been, you live in LA now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know that would get a laugh, but um, <laughs> <laughs> obviously this is going to be a great answer. Are there any things you miss about not being in Liverpool anymore? Uh, no. <laughs> Surely the no, people, I the love Liverpool. <laughs> I was a child. I grew up in Liverpool. You know, family members are in Liverpool, but... Yeah. You know, <laughs> I love your honesty. I, I had to tell the audience, um, it was so exciting over the weekend, I was that close to come back. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a great time, I did. I loved it up there over the weekend. It was well, exciting. Well, of course, you guys are the most famous sons of Liverpool, uh, and, it, you know, it must be a thrill for them to have you come back as well. How are people with you in there? I mean, do they, do they go crazy still? Do they they love nuts? me. Yeah. <laughs> they do, they love me. Yeah, of course they Don't do. you love me? Yeah. yeah. Everyone loves you, man. Thank you. Uh, did they name... No, what happened? They named, a, they named an airport after John, didn't they? I know. And a carousel after me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there moves to do stuff? Have you got a statue anywhere or something? No, i got there? nothing. Nothing? I think the drawback of having anything like that is you have to die. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, I suppose it helps, doesn't it? It's like a commemorative I know thing. we have streets and, you know, yeah. there's like Ringo Road and... Yeah, yeah. Well, when you go back, uh, how much of it has changed from the way you remember it? I mean, for example, your oh. old neighbourhood, is that still pretty much no, the same? or very nothing different? like it. I didn't actually go there anyway. But, uh, <laughs> 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 I was this close. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, I went to the oh, school okay. I went to, uh, Dinglevale yeah. now called Shawfield. And does it look the same? No. No. <laughs> when I went, it was like five of us. Yeah, yeah. Now there's a thousand. Yeah, really. Yeah. Well, of course, that's the same all over. Yeah, but they, they, they had this land next to it, which they call now Starfields after me, so I went to say hi. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Um, you work pretty hard, don't you? I mean, you still go, after, you, you go out there with the band on a regular basis. Uh, yeah, I put an all-star band together at least every other year, yeah. and sometimes several years on the run. But that's something, you know, I think most people can understand why, because you must enjoy it. But I you do. Don't, you don't need to do that, do you? Well, that's what people say, but that's what I do. Yeah. I, you know, I'm a musician, I'm a drummer, and I like to play with musicians. Yeah. And you like being, I guess, in front of an audience doing it. I isn't love that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when, you, when you perform at, uh, with the all-star band, is, is there a desire ever to go back to do old material, to do stuff that you either did with the Beatles or in your early solo well, no, albums? No, I do. I only do the songs I did. Yeah. You know, uh, Yellow Sub and Little Help. I don't actually do Yesterday or Come you Together. You do Octopus's Garden? I do occasionally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like Octopus's Garden. I know, so do the kids. Yeah, yeah, it's a sweet film. Hey, yeah. I was watching uh, earlier today, as part of my research, supposing, this shows you how great my life can be sometimes, I thought to prepare for the show, I'd watch Help again, because it came out oh, on yeah, DVD. Oh, yeah, it came on DVD. What a great film. Yeah. Uh, and I'm hoping you had as much fun making that as it, as it is to watch. Well, we had a lot of fun making it, but they had, like, a showing of it in L.A., which I was just at. And it was really weird seeing it again. And the crazy bit for me was that when the scenes were happening, they were silent. Now, if you see any scene, you do the movie show, yeah, yeah, yeah. any scene's got music and effects going yeah, yeah, over it. And this was, well, John, what do you think? And, yeah. Okay, Ringo. And it's like, where's the music? I'm yeah. so used to them being filmed. You're right. It isn't driven along in the same yeah. way. But even there, you can see the humour that you all had and the way you oh, approach yeah. it shines through. And it, it seems yeah. very, even by today's standards, it's quite a modern feeling yeah. uh, movie. Apart well, from I that. think that's the same with the music. You know, it's still today, it sounds like now. Yeah, yeah. And the movie, too. And also, I think what helps was, you know, we were four good friends, so, you know, there was no real embarrassment. Yeah, it, it's, it's so much fun to watch. I'm going to make my kids watch it, you know, because... It, oh, you're going to force them? <laughs> well, I am. Uh, but yeah. they enjoyed it. I made them watch yeah. Caveman with me, and they enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but some of your movie, uh, your exploits, weren't as successful, of course, some of the films you made. 
Name one. Okay, candy. Candy? That was really good. It was not. <laughs> I was great. No, you weren't. <laughs> I was a Mexican you gardener. Yeah, you played a Mexican gardener. Of course yeah. you weren't any good. <laughs> You're a drummer from Liverpool. I'm an actor. You weren't. You couldn't do a Mexican gardener. I couldn't. No. <laughs> I couldn't. But hey, I got to hang out with Richard Burton, Marlon Brando, what an incredible Elizabeth Taylor. And you know what? It's uh, in a way, I'm saying it's not a great movie because it wasn't successful in its own terms. But it's a brilliant kind of time capsule. You look at it, and it really sums up a certain madness in movies at the time. And then you're right, that cast is incredible. Yeah. Uh, what was it like meeting Brando? Brando was incredible, incredible, and we became like friendly for the two weeks we were together. <laughs> well, <that's> enough <laughs> After that. Yeah. Uh, it, he was just so great because he was Marlin and you know he, we were having this lunch and he was he was coming to the lunch and so I said oh he's coming to the lunch because you know he's a hero of mine and he came in and he did that Marlin stuff and he'd be like he'd grab the spoon and look at the spoon and we'd all be going oh he's looking at the spoon <laughs> <laughs> Because everything he does, he's a genius. Oh, yeah. He's got the so great. And he'd be yeah. hanging on doors. It was yeah. just like being Marlin. It was so uh, great. Uh, but everyone in the film, it's a very crazy film if you haven't seen it. They show it occasionally on TV. Yeah. I think it was based on a novel by, was it Terry Southern? Terry right. Southern was yeah, a Yeah, who was of kind of a, a hip writer at the time. Very yeah. much uh, respected. We have a scene. Yeah. I'm going to warn you in advance. Ringo attempts a Mexican accent. <laughs> <laughs> these, were, these were less sophisticated I'm times. just getting ready for okay, it. Okay, here we go. This is Candy. Emmanuel. Yes, miss. Please come inside. I want you to do something for me. What? Inside? Yes, inside, quick. Oh, no, inside. I no think Mr. Christian would like that. Man, you have the air bottle. I need you now. You need him, Manuel? Yes, now. Oh, but Emmanuel is good boy. I want you to get the ironing board from the kitchen. Ironing boat? Yes, the ironing board. I wanted to bring it down to the basement. Basement? Please, now. I have to change this dress. She want me. <laughs> there you go, you see? I take it all back. It's a yeah. masterpiece. Well, you have to remember the BAFTAs are coming up. Yes, yes, and we have you soon. <laughs> hey, but you know, I'm, I'm joking about that because it was a, 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 a strange a curio. And why was I being like this hunchback Mexican? <laughs> yes, miss, yes. <laughs> you were mad I don't know. You were trying to suck up some of Brando's I brilliance. I don't know. Uh, but you know, you've been in some very fine films as well, I of have. course, not just the ones you made with the Beatles. Uh, I, I rewatched recently That'll Be the Day. I was great. You were great, and man, it's a great film. You were the best actor in it, I think. You're I better was. than David Essex in it. Yeah, well, you shouldn't. David. Let us be nice about you. Don't okay. keep telling us how great you are, for Christ's sake. <laughs> You're going to sit back and listen. Relax, let it wash over you. <laughs> um, now. Let me ask you about um, the new album because it's very up to date. It's What's very it called? modern. It's called Liverpool Eight. Yeah. Hmm? What, you'd forgotten? No. Okay. But I just uh, like the title. So yeah, Liverpool Eight. Well, when I first heard it, it made me think, I wonder whether, you know, there were like eight people who'd been wrongly arrested. You know, it's like free the Liverpool yeah, Eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's, uh, it, it's a, a new album. And here's the exciting thing, which I, even I'm getting my head around. One of the ways you can buy it, obviously, Ringo's up to date with uh, CDs and so on, but you can buy the album as a. A USB, USB wristband. Yeah. Now what's this? This is I've never ever seen this before. Well, a friend of mine introduced me to that. He knew the people who made them, and we said, you know, for this record now you can download me. I'm a ringtone, and I'm a USB band. Yeah. So you you can, you can wear buy it, that. So you, you just, just put it. it right in your computer, and you get the whole CD. You get a possibility of a couple of ringtones for your phone, wow. and you get an EPK. Like a you know a visual uh, electric uh, press kit. Who would have thought? But isn't it remarkable? You On think that, that, you think about the changes we've seen. You know, it used oh, to be yeah. you loved a big right. bit of vinyl home. Yeah, you yeah. had to look after it, and you didn't want to scratch it. And now you get a little yeah. thing, but you can lose them so easy. Of course, you have got to be careful. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> here you go. Uh, this is a little bit of Ringo in action. This is from Liverpool Eight. Check this out. Went to Hamburg. The red lights were on. With George and Paul and my friend John We rocked all night, we all looked up We didn't have much, but we had enough Liverpool, I left you Said goodbye to Madrid Street
I have a computer in three countries. And you use it yourself? <laughs> I do. Yeah. I do, but I don't do email. Why not? Oh, because people keep emailing you. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> and so I don't want to do that, and then you're answering them. So you spend your life just, you know, yeah. reading and answering. So yeah. I've decided, no, I don't do email. Do you, uh, you, you must have a mobile phone, I'm sure. I have a mobile phone. Do you have a text on it? I don't. Give me the number off the show, I'll text on the way up, just for no. a tweet. What? No. Why not? Because I never carry it. Well, what's the point of having <laughs> The whole point of mobile well, technology I is you take it with you. Well, I might so I have to have... What do you mean you might carry well, it? Well, I might carry it. Well, what decides when Where you get up Where am I going? Morning? I'm coming here. What do I want the phone for? Well, what if someone wants uh, to... Oh, yeah, hi. Uh, excuse me a minute. Yeah, who are you? Yeah. I don't need it. I've, I've got one. I carried very little, so. OK, OK. Uh, <laughs> Alright. You're not gonna text me or get me number. Well <laughs> Are you up to date with the new slang terms and the new way no. of speaking? Because it was fab and gear in your day. Using man. Yeah. <laughs> hey man. Hey, yeah. Peace and love, man. Well I notice you and Paul still you still flick the, I'm the, still, the piece well, out. Well no, the... because I am still trying to spread peace and love. Well that's how it's meant. So it's that's how a... it's meant. Okay, it's not just behind someone's head in a photograph. <laughs> no, but that's usable. <laughs> um now. Ringo, you've had quite the life, of course. I have. Uh, what are the highs and lows, looking back? I don't want you to be too... I know it's a big question, but what, uh, are, what are the huge. best things that you can really... Well, I think, you know, I always go back that, uh, you know, I'm a musician. That was one of my huge dreams when I was a teenager, 13. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I only wanted to play drums. And first of all, I made my own drums, and then I got drums. And I played with great musicians, and I only wanted to play with... That's a man loving his instrument. Yeah, right there, that, baby! That's a man. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, that dream is always enfolding because that's what I do. Um, you know, uh, uh, an old photograph surfaced for you this week. Did you see this photograph of you outside a shop called Eric's in Liverpool? Oh, yeah. Do you remember? Now, who's that with you there? That's well, that's Rory Storm. So that's Rory Storm. And you're, Rory and, you're, Storm and you're the four and hurricanes. I, and we're the hurricanes. Look at that dress we And have. when is that? About 50? That must no, be 59. No, that's about 59, 60. About 60. I would have thought you had to have a, a certain conference to wear a pink suit in, the, in 1959. You know how useful those suits were? When we went to Germany to play Hamburg, uh, they tried to make us all sleep in a, a really pit of a room backstage. And we said, we can't sleep there. We've got suits. <laughs> <laughs> so we all moved to the German Siemens mission and yeah. shared a room. So you were a class act, well, therefore you needed... suits. <laughs> it was like our big claim. It must be. There, there could have been no way you knew that you'd have the career you had back then, I would have thought. No. No, I mean, but this was a great band, and this guy on your far right, yeah. Johnny Guitar, he was like the first Jimi Hendrix in his way. He was just wacky. Really good. And uh, so, yeah, I had a lot of good times with that band. And we went to play the American basses in France, and we had to take a blonde girl with us. You know, because they don't want to look at us. <laughs> so you had a girl on stage. Yeah, so we had to take a girl. <laughs> just, <so I> can. <laughs> just sit there, dear. There we go. Uh, I wonder where she is right I now. I don't know. Yep. Uh, David Attenborough might know, she's probably in a cage yeah, somewhere. Yeah, she's you could probably talking to the turtles. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, he loves it. Yeah, but he loves what? He, no, look at him, he's always smiling, he's enjoying his <laughs> life. You know why though, that's a fully content man, he's done only what he wants to do with his life. Yeah. Am, I, am I okay saying something like that, as bold a statement as that, Sir David? Yeah, you're about right. To an extent, so have you, Wingo. Oh yeah, and still doing it. Yeah, well that's a marvellous thing. And when are you going to get to that point? Would <laughs> <laughs> You're too easy. I've been to, in Liverpool, you know, I mean, it's all one, one, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been to Liverpool, we think. <laughs> <laughs> Ringo, Ringo. What? What is it now? Ringo. God's sake. Ringo. Get the band on, Ringo. let's have some fun. Shut up. Ringo. Ringo, Ringo. Give me your mobile number. No. I'll ask it differently. Ringo, give me your mobile number. <laughs> No. Wait. Ringo, if I give you mine, will you text me once? No. What do you mean, no? How yeah. could that possibly hurt you? Hey, I don't like you. <laughs> uh, it's coming to you. It is. Let me get in. She can't keep saying it. Liverpool 8. <laughs> yeah, there's the album. It's called Show Liverpool 8. Show on the record, big guy. Yeah, and it's available on USB wristband and as well. USB. There you go. And I'll personally come round to your home <laughs> and play it for you. Oh, you won't fucking text me, but you go out there and say, you know.
Ringo Starr, ladies and gentlemen. Great to have you on the show Thank again. You. Mr. Ringo Starr, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Ringo. Great to see you. Catch me later. <laughs> Ringo Starr. Thank you. Thank you. Many thanks to all my guests this evening. Ringo, of course, Sir David Attenborough, Sam Janus, and Rita Simons. Next week, my guests will be top stand up comedian Alan Carr, Desperate Housewife star Eva Longoria, and one of my favourite actors, the great Jeff Goldblum. Uh, we'll also have music from Mary J. Blige, which is going to be incredible. But now, performing here for you and also in front of Ringo Starr, who, of course, was in the Beatles, so no pressure whatsoever, lads. It's Hot Chip with the brilliant Ready for the Floor.